Must be proud of that effort, mate. Keep fighting. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, at this point in the season, we're searching for three big time, and uh, it would be nice to take the three points. But I thought, um, you know, we had a lot of a lot of hiccups this week. We lost um, our leading goal scorer, Davy, in our last training session to a calf strain. Um, the boys left at eight o'clock in the morning yesterday and got in at nine o'clock to the ridges here on Honeysuckle, and um, and then we lost our captain on game day to a vomiting bug, and that bug went through the team a little bit with a few players. So you know, there's some boys out there playing on heart and character more than anything. And I thought, um, you know, given those circumstances, given we're missing our captain and our top goal scorer, I thought, um, you know, it showed a little. It's another example of the character and the belief that's in that dressing room. Yeah, but, and the boy, uh, the legend, Jealousy, sorry. Mate, he, again, produced the goods. I mean, the quality of some of his services was outstanding again tonight. You can see him grow and grow. I know you've, you've banged on relentlessly about him, but is that another example of where he can get to? Yeah, I think so. Like the the areas of his game that we're working on, and because he's such a sponge, and because he's so open to to coaching and mentoring, and because he wants to improve, and his work ethic's so good, um, he's a, he's a player that's I find easily shaped and and moulded. And um, that front third and the, the final delivery and the, the end product that we're trying to add to his game is one of the hardest aspects uh, to add to a player, especially a young player. A lot of that comes with a bit bit of experience and a bit of game time. Um, but given how little he's out of that in his career, I think um, yeah he's been exceptional. I thought tonight he was good. I don't think he was he was outstanding tonight, but I thought he was good. I think it was interesting commentary. I think eight players under 22 in your game day squad. Um, again, is it a learning curve because they looked down and out at one point? You look up, for, then again, it looked like you're in, in trouble for little pieces. Is it stretching those bits of quality out? That is the the difficult part for the young players, or the concentration, or the intensity, or whatever it is. It is. You know, again. The game management aspect of football's, you know, really, really big at a professional level, and uh, of those eight young ones, there's a lot of guys there that have either missed a lot of football for through injury. A guy like Trent has had two knee reconstructions. Dowsey's had three. They've missed a lot of football, and they haven't played enough football at this level to understand uh, momentum in game. And momentum's a very important thing to control. And um, you know, I think some of our senior ones, you know, today. Even they struggled at times with the momentum, just under fatigue, and I think that that fatigue plays a big part. But um, you know, again, given the circumstances and given how many young ones we've got in that squad, you know, how many are for the future, um, you know, it's a, it puts us in good stead down the track anyway. Both your goals come from from corners. I mean, in the game over in Perth, you scored one from a corner and one from a long ball into the box. I mean, was that something that you thought that was susceptible from those areas? Yeah, they are. Look, like every week, I know most teams are the same in this league. You know. We do our analysis properly, and we and we go through a, a, a certain process and try and work out, you know, some areas that we think they're vulnerable. That was certainly one of them. And um, but again, it's it's down to delivery, and it's it's down to the, you know, the execution. And I thought the players they 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 deserve the credit. They're the ones that listen to us coaches, you know, trying to run through it on a training pitch, but doing it under pressure in those circumstances. I thought, um, you know, it's, the second one especially, it's a hell of a ball, and the 96 minutes a hell of a header. So um, yeah, it's good to get rewarded for something that we've worked on. Watching it, did you think that was the last key of the game? Was it? Were you confident? Yeah, I was just doing my usual berating of uh, my assistant Queenie for what time is it, how long left, and and all of that jazz. But you know, we knew we had a chance. Um, uh, we threw everything at them late, and um, we wanted to, you know, in this process of where we're at and and where we want to get to, we know that one of the foundations for that is hard work and effort and, and belief and character and all of those. Uh, all of those really important things, and I thought at the end of the game we showed a lot of that tonight. So I'm proud of that, but I'm probably a little bit disappointed and frustrated as well at times, just in our performance in terms of controlling the game with the ball. I thought um, in the first half we lost control of the game in possession and, and too many cheap turnovers, and I thought the second half we then found our rhythm and found our patterns and started the game really well. So I'd like us to play um, a more polished performance for longer patches, and I think we'll get better results. You did only create the one big chance in that game. Um, what would you have liked to execute better, specifically in the attacking phase? Look, I thought tonight we created um, some really positive transition moments where the final pass or the, or the final cross or, or the timing of the run was off. And I think if you look back at the game, you know, see, you'll see a lot of moments in transition where they were wide open and we you know, had, uh, had a, 
an Adam Taggart or a Ryan Williams or a Trent Osler making the right run, but the pass you know, was either over hit or under hit or uh, it doesn't help when rugby league's played on the pitch the night before and uh, the, the ball's bouncing around everywhere, so that didn't help either team, if I'm honest. Um, but, you know, we have to deal with it and I just think we have to execute better in that final third. We created enough openings, um, but just lacked quality in some of those moments. Yeah, Sorry, man. I was just going to mention that the pitch, I mean, it looked like all the players were slipping, which is unusual for here. I mean, was the cut, the appeared to be cut, did they have extra water on it for the rugby league, do you think? Or, or was it cut lower than, I mean, you played here for four or five years, you've been here before. It's usually like, uh, my memories of it were always very firm and very good underfoot and uh, very quick. And today it was the opposite. It was a little bit slow and bubbly and, and, and slippery. Um, you know, being, a, being an ex-proud Nova Castri and I watched the nights uh, last night and... Uh, even in that game, they were slipping. So, you know, the rugby boys found it hard. We certainly found it hard. We had tags and a few other boys trying to change direction quickly and, and losing their feet. So it probably uh, it added to the amount of transition moments in the game and it probably was uh, detrimental to the quality of the game as well.